All right, we're doing admin of code 2020. Day one has just unlocked. Maybe. Uh, get the input. Let's see if we have the puzzle. Okay. Uh, we're doing a resort. Something about stars. Uh, expense report. All right, so we have a bunch of numbers and. We find two entries that sum to 2020 and multiply them together. That seems doable. is slightly disappointing. Uh, I guess maybe not totally unexpected. There's probably a lot of people trying to do it right now. It's not going to help. So they disappoint. Uh, what are they going to ask us to do in round two, huh? He took the website down. This input file. I should really change this to not uh, sys.rg1. That's better. Uh, there's some way in Python. Well, start in. down, huh? Okay, so this is a nice way to get the lines in a file. Um, 
And I think it's kind of nice reading it from uh, standard in rather than hard coding a file name, which is what I've usually done for these. Um, yeah, so we read in a list of integers, one per line, right? These are, I guess, lines, so maybe clearer. Uh, we want the number of them, and then, uh, you know, for every number, and for every number sort of after that, right? So this is the thing to all pairs. Um, if they add to 2020, then print their product, right? That's what the question wanted us to do. Uh, so that is what it's doing. Hmm. What is part two going to be? So we have this list of numbers. Just look at it. How long is it? It's 200 numbers. Not really sure. <laughs> ah, is it back? Yeah, that's a fake rank. Uh, the three entries that's up to 2020. Okay, sure. Obviously, that was slightly marred by the uh, website being down. Um, but that's day one. Uh, so pretty straightforward. Um, actually, I should should clean this up. Uh, like so. Indeed, seven eight eight seven three nine and one seven eight seven two four four three zero are the right answers. Uh, so yeah, um, reading the the input uh, just from either are, and then for each number, uh, this is you know we could we're doing like indices instead of uh, numbers. You could also do it with numbers. This indices is maybe slightly nicer because it lets you avoid um, sort of duplicate pairs, right? Otherwise, you get it in both directions. Uh, so anyway, if xi plus xj is 2020, then that's the answer to part one. And then for part two, you add in a third, you know, the third set of numbers, which starts from j plus one to avoid, you know, you want to go over each triple once. And the way that we do that is we say i is less than j is less than k. Because um, otherwise you could do all six permutations of i, j, and k. Anyway, if they add up to 2020, then uh, print that that's the answer to part two. Uh, so that was day one of advent of code. Um, looking forward to the other puzzles.